Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy T from Trip Gaming with my boy Tiani. And just so you guys know, before we get started about this, before we even get started talking about this video, uh, Tiny does something that most Asians don't. As you see, Victor Lam over there, uh, he actually goes to the gym. I'm like Victor Lam, but he has a fitness page, Tiani Fitness. Check it out. Check it out, and Victor Lam does look like a panda as well. Anyways. <laughs> So what did you do at this past regional, bro? I got fifth place at Toronto Regionals. Fifth place, bro. Prob what deck did you play? Goki. Bro, Goki. Why don't you tell him how quick you learned this deck, bro? Uh, I wasn't planning on playing this deck. My main deck is two Dracos. Uh, my boy over there just literally took my deck. He's like, I'm playing Dracos now. Just hand me his Goki deck. I'm like, what the fuck is this deck, bro? I didn't even know how to U-Link until like Friday afternoon. And then, um, I and then the you and then I barely won any die rolls the whole day, but the two times I won the die roll was against the mirror match and they won me the game. So. Let's go! Let's check out this last farm. Three Suprex. He's the best, basically the best normal summon in this deck because I don't play uh, Armageddon Knight. I think Armageddon Knight's bad because if he gets hand trapped, you basically lose. Two t twist crowbar standard, uh, one headbutt. I actually don't like seeing two like in my opening hand. Like I used to draw like I actually used to draw headbutt a lot, and I drew like double copies sometimes. So one was enough. There's maybe one time where he wanted two, but it's fine. Uh, two copies of Steven before he started like, working out. Uh, this is really good because in case you draw this one, in case you draw one in your opening hand, you need the other one to send off his soul day. Uh, one copy of Steven right now. <laughs> he's pretty D's, but uh, yeah, he's also a good normal summon when you have him in Instant Fusion. Uh, Air Hug, because I like the extra name in your deck. You need this to search sometimes, and uh, he does come up actually because since I played the K K Kagari in my deck, if you have this plus Hornet drones, you can just make Kagari tribute summon it and it has to have the drones. Three Brick, because you need this for, for summon sorcerer. He sucks in your hand, but you can still combo even if you open double Mali. There was one hand where I opened double Mali, Ibli but two extenders and I was still able to combo. Uh, another brick, she's fine, but she like when you open her, it kind of sucks, but you can still do combo if you open well. You need to summon Mermaid off of. MVP of the match uh, on Saturdays. This is the reason why I got top five. On my last game, I was playing against uh, Matt Google or something, whatever his name was. He's a really good player, but uh, he rolled an 11, I rolled a 12 to win die roll, and he was playing Goki as well. So, last game he opened the draw and lock bird. I opened this plus Mali, and I ripped the draw and uh, lock bird out of your hands, his, his hand, and I comboed him. Correct. And then I was really scared of uh, Danger FTK, so the only two hand traps I played was draw and lock bird because uh, this actually does stop the FTK early. So, if they make the uh, outer entity card, this just stops them preemptively, so yeah. you just combo. Yeah. Uh, you want to combo three mid breaker fields, yeah. best extender, three instant. Fusion, uh, double twin twisters. I cut one for the draw. Uh, two called by the graves combo. My one ofs, I play one Rota, one Foolish, one Monster Reborn, one one for one. There's a combo where you can uh, ba basically, if you have a Goki plus this, you can send the Goki, make Link Karibo, Karibo and then combo with the Soldate under Link Karibo. Uh, one rematch because I really hated seeing this card in my opening hand. One was enough. I sided the second one. Uh, shout out to Brad. It did come up. Uh, I needed that second rematch sometimes in case they sided belt. One soul charge, you automatically win if you draw this. Uh, three engage because I don't play Armageddon Knights. Shout out to my boy Mateo who lent me these. Um, I like this way better than Armageddon Knights because sometimes you use this to bait out Ash because they think you're playing Strikers or something. But uh, I always resolve this and uh, it searched me either the Eagle Booster, which protects your Soul Day or Summon Sorcerers, or Hornet Drones, which is your other warrior basically. Uh, two equip spells, it's enough, you don't need a third one. Uh, these are basically the only ones you need for the combo. I never drew two because I play 43 card deck and the last Shade Brigade is for combo. Sick. So looking fresh, I like that. Let's check out the, the extra deck, bro. Kind of oh, bro, the, the whole the whole turn you're just easy Ws, yeah? Easy Ws. And easy no one there lifted, right? They're either skinny and fucker or fat, right? <laughs> Man, the only loss I had was the anti-meta fat. I, I won the oh. die roll. I won the die roll too, but then I bricked. Oh man, oh man. Oh, one is Soul Day, she's Bay. It basically enables all your combos, but I have like a tech for later on that uh, you don't even need her to do the combo. Summon Sorceress, signed by Yusei, you know? Uh, one copy of you win the game. Another copy of you win the game. Uh, negate. Uh, nightmares. One Cerberus, two Phoenix. It's better for your cards not to be destroyed by battle because in case they're playing Cyber Dragons, they all uh, link off with two of your extra link cards and then they make the uh, Chimera attack. And then uh, this still protects it from being destroyed by battle, so you can just banish it next turn. Uh, one Unicorn, that's enough. 
One mermaid. I didn't like the double mermaid. It was too inconsistent. Uh, binary sorceress better than proxy dragon. You can maybe basically increase the attack of one of your guys and then just attack over it. Uh, one linker evil for the gumblar shit. Uh, Reprodocus, so you can basically uh, make summon sorceress without a soul date. One Kagari, so if you open. Hornet drones plus Mali or Hornet drones plus a card above level uh, 5 basically, you can just tribute summon off the Kagari uh, before after summoning the drones again and then just combo off and then instant fusion target. Sick. Now to go with the side, huh? Side, uh, second rematch, shoutouts to Brad again, uh, double book of Eclipse. I never actually played Thunder Dragons, but this was just in case. Uh, I got these last minute, just you never know when they'll come up. Yeah. Third copy of Twin Twisters, uh, three reboot against Altergeist. I played one Altergeist and then any stun based decks, and then I actually drew this against stun, but I still lost. I don't know how. It's bullshit. Um, too evenly matched. I actually don't want to see the second copy in my hand. One is enough. Uh -huh. Never came up. Yeah. Two cherries, never sighted in. Uh, two it was really clutch because one of my mirrors, game two, I drew one of them and it stopped the combo and I won 2-0. Two Ash Blossom, best card in the deck. Sick. All right, all right. Any last shout outs you want to give, bro? Uh, shout out to Triff Gaming. Yeah. Uh, shout outs to John Wilkin. He inspired me for his list. Shout outs to uh, Ray for his new store. And uh, again, shout outs to Brad, my boy Justin, who uh, all of them supported me and I wouldn't be here without them. Sick, and I want to give one last shout out myself to two. One Game Nation, the short as Ray Shop, and lastly, his fitness page. TINU Fitness is going to be in the description below. Go follow it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you in the next video. Peace.